Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 as the Chada Kingdom. We are Jane and we are proud of it, man. Yeah, Jane Strong. So we're about 100 years into the campaign. As you can see, we started out down here, basically, and we have grown into this. Last we checked, I think we were like fourth out of all uh, nations in terms of troop size, behind only the, you know, the regulars. Basically, we were behind, um, of course, we were behind the Arabian Empire, but we were also behind Byzantium. And I think we we're also behind, uh, let's just take a look. Where's my ledger? Previous, previous, previous. All right, so if we look at army here, see, we're, okay, so we're fifth now. We've actually fallen behind Hispania and also Francia. So, not a huge deal. Not a huge deal. Um, I wonder, is, is Hispania still Muslim? It is. It's Umiyad. So that's that's helping that, for sure. Because, you know, they're also pulling in from Africa. But, you know, around here, we're the, we're the biggest show in town. We're the only show in town. Hopefully, soon to be. We're about to go to war here with Daxina Kosala to take Suvarnapura and... After that, I don't know. We're kind of waiting to see what happens here with Maharashtra. We assassinated this guy's father. And now he has all kinds of wars that he's tied up in. But really the only war that pertains to his territory is right here. And it's the uh, Rashtra Kuta War for Princess Gangam Bika's claim on Maharashtra. So they're trying to install somebody else here. I'm fine with it if that happens. Because like I mentioned in the last video, she's female. She's female. You still press weak claims. So... Yeah, and we do have weak claims. We have a lot of people with a weak claim on that kingdom. So once that resolves itself, we're probably going to land somebody and then attack. And uh, if we get all this land here, Maharashtra, you can just pretty much hang it up. It's, you know, I mean, you can pretty much already hang it up. But what's funny is that we initially started out the game and we're like, yeah, we want to make the, uh, I always click on that. We want to make the Empire of Rajasthan. Well, Rajasthan is friggin' huge, guys. I mean... We'd roughly have to have 79 Thakurs, probably. 79, 78. So we need another 23 or 24 counties to even do it. On the contrary, what about this uh, What about this Deccan Empire? It's a little bit smaller, but it's really all this down here. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So... I think we're going to go ahead and declare war for we landed this guy so we're going to go ahead and claim that boom send you guys in and then we're going to raise our domain levies and I guess we can send the horses with them let's have them meet up say well, hell let's just have a meet up here just go straight across. Uh, we'll go ahead and take it down to speed two. Are we gonna get them? We bet we do. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna catch a third of his army right there, and then we'll probably just swing in and grab this one too, and just wipe him out. He's gonna call in the other Maharaja. There's just no way he's not gonna do it. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get this fight. We did our fighting in the jungle, but he has like no starting morale, so it's not a big deal. Should be a, a wipe. So you're going to Savarnapura on the 2nd of March. So he's going to beat us there. But they're both going in here. So And what is this? Jungle. Probably just go ahead and attack them. That's what I'm thinking. The numbers are on our side. The elephant has gone crazy and is running amok in the town outside the castle. Has already killed several people. What should we do? Well... Elephants are holy, so we need to try to capture it. And we didn't. Great. So we might have a revolt. Maybe. Oh, we caught them. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Yep, we're just going to go ahead and attack in. Should be fine. Yeah, especially now that this guy stopped moving. So he's just like, yeah, I'm just going to let you... Uh, I'm just going to let you, you know... Take that at your leisure. <clears throat> you running away? He is running away. 
So we'll just, uh, I think we'll just siege that out now. <coughs> and then we'll send the rest of these guys over, and then we'll blanket it, and no big deal. So let's figure out some. Why do we have a vassal inheritance warning? It says, on death, their titles might pass from here. The Kur Umavarman of Rottenpur. So is this the guy that we just landed? It is. Why is that going to pass from our realm? So his heir is the Thakur of Shapuri. Ah, really? That guy. Okay. So that kind of makes sense. Is it just because he doesn't have any kids? Yeah, he doesn't have any kids. He needs to have some kids. I'm sure he'll have some kids. If not, then I mean, what we'll do is we'll just revoke him out. I mean, he's Hindu. No big deal. Looks like Maharashtra has another war. This is not going well for him. Uh, they're having a war over Kondana. Jeez, Louise, this poor guy. I feel sorry for him. He's just... Ever since we assassinated that guy, it's just been really... What is this? One of our guys declared war, revoking Varanasi. Uh, so it's kind of like a war within itself. Golly, no. We want you to be our man. Jeez, you've got really high diplomacy. What's your chance to fab? 20% yearly? I mean... It's pretty good. Ha! Okay. So now he's gonna come over here and start fighting uh, with those guys. Nice. Nice. Alright, so. Look at everybody's together. We'll just have them over, come over here. <clears throat> I mean, is he actually... No. So he's fighting these guys, but it doesn't even matter. I don't really understand what's, what he's thinking here. It's not hurting me. If that's what he's trying to do. We're going to send Chandra. Chan. Chan. No, not Chandra. Chan Danaraja. Is this my genius? No. I haven't started with tutel, tutelaging. That's a word. The genius yet. Temperance is a virtue. Gain that stewardship, son. Gain it. You know, we should probably split this group up, even. What is this? Jungle, jungle, jungle. Wow. Excellently defensible. 1100 there. Okay, this one's pretty much... Yeah, so we could split in half, right? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Why siege one when you can siege two, right? I mean, did he ever call the other guy in? I mean... He didn't. He never called the other guy in, which is maybe the other guy just wouldn't come in. He might have tried, you know, and it just didn't work out for him. Send the bigger one into the middle for reinforcement purposes. A new realm, the king of the Khazar, Khazars, 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 Khan Kibar of Kiva. It's decided that's a lot of that's a lot of alliteration. The Khazar Khan Khan Kin Khan of Kiva, Khan Kibar of Kiva, decided to settle down in Kiva, making his new homeland. Really, where's Kiva? Oh, wow. That's close. Wow. I don't like that at all. I think we can probably go to speed four. So let's go to speed four. Get this done so we can move on to the next war, I guess. Bashtwa of Bashtwa's host has declared Bashtwa's conquest of Lahore. Oh my gosh. Talk about craziness. There's some craziness going on up here. This guy's in all sorts of problems. I'm glad we're strong. Okay, so he did call somebody in. But I, I think it's too little too late. Uh, Emperor Gene the Just. What? Has set up Pope Ga Gaucher as an anti-pope named Pope Urbanus II. So this is the Emperor of France. Wow. So this guy is an anti-pope. Drama. So another son. Not a genius, though. Not a genius. But we only we have one. We only need one. So we're good. Grandson Karnadev was bitten by a snake. Yeah, he's brave. Gain that marshal. Okay, we have a new heir. Oh my god, she died. She died of pneumonia. So this guy is my heir now? Nope. Nope. That ain't how it's going to go down. 
Nope, my new heir is going to be this little guy right there. Hopefully he's not ill. We're going to we're gonna have to cup our hands around him. So we're just going to skip. So what we need to do now, what are we? Are we are a Dagambara, so that does give us plus one to health. We might switch our focus here, guys, over to... Um, we might switch our focus over to family to get some extra health because we want him to live for as long as he can at this point now. So let's go family for that extra health. Because we can't go hunting. That's the only other one that gives you health. I do like learning. I like all of them, really. They're all good as long as you know what to do with them. So this war should wrap up pretty quick. Yeah, that, that really changes things, because now, see, that other guy's one, right? And he can't take over for 15 years. Well, 15 years, this guy's going to be 71. I mean, the chances of him making it to 71 are pretty low. Pretty slim, I think. So we just want to try to get him to live as long as he can. Daughter was born to Rudy Levichada and Thakur. Man, she loves that guy. She just keeps on popping out his bastard kids. Okay, so he's spending time with his family. That's always good. Zoroastrian faith triumphant. The adherence of the Manichaean faith have steadily dwindled to the point where Zoroastrian believers are in the majority. This new state of affairs has reduced the Manichaean faith to a de facto heresy. All former Manichaean holy orders are now Zoroastrian. Bickering of fools does not concern me. Indeed. Oh man, Typhus, stay away. Don't come my way. Please. Okay, probably one more siege and we'll be in good shape. Looks like our Upadhyaya. I think that's pretty good. Alright, what do we want to have him do? I mean, really not too sold on converting over here. I think it's pretty important to not convert, actually. Um, so I guess we'll just research cultural tech. Yeah. Try to spread that culture. Yeah, one more siege, and I think we'll be done. In fact, we are we are completely done over there. So let's move them guys inside, into there, have them merge up. Uh, we're losing money. Raja Jayam Jaya Sima of Malayaktu Raj usurped the title Thikana of Varanasi from Govindara. So is that in, in my? It is. It is indeed. How are my factions looking? So is he still this guy? Yeah, no big deal. You have to keep an eye on it though. Keep an eye on it. Especially if a little little boy -o takes over. But we are Jane, that is good. Uh wow. Okay, well what we're gonna do is we're just gonna crush these guys. That'll end it. Crushed. Like a walnut. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now that's ours. Hooray. I think that's a, that's a retinue, so we don't want to dismiss that. Alright, well, what do we want to do now? How's Maharashtra looking? Still pretty lousy. So now he's got this right here. De jure war over Kondana. Hmm. And he's losing. He's losing that one too. Yep. Boy, oh boy. Ooh, we have a weak claim on Kingdom of Bihar now. Let's take a look at it. We got Claim Munda, yeah. Claim Bihar. So yeah, this person Hirapala would uh, gain the kingdom of Bihar. I mean, that's probably what's going to happen. I think. Oh, this guy's got a claim on Bihar. He's winning this war. Bengal is an ally. 
Yeah, he has quite a few troops. Now we might only be able to uh, to do this because it's in it's in a war, you know. I think that might be weak claim, right? So if you look at what a weak claim is, this person's got a weak claim. Yeah, on Pala Kingdom. He claims can only be pressed against. He's not a female ruler. It's not a regency. It's already being contested in a claim or succession war. What's going to happen is whenever that other war finishes, it'll it'll invalidate our castus belly, unless she's second or third in line to inherit. But she's probably not. Ooh, what's her name? Hirapala. So no, she's not. So there's really no point in going to war. He's going to wrap that up, you know. Other than that, Kingdom Maharashtra, Thakana of Pratisthana. That's with Maharashtra, so we don't want to do that. Pallava Kingdom is just really messed up right now. And then Pandya Kingdom. Ah, so Pandya Kingdom. Oh, wait, no. She's, she is still having this problem. Panja Nadu for the Kuru, yeah. So she's having problems. Do we want to let that cool down too? Do we have any other claims? I guess what we should look at. We have Munda. Claim Munda. Really, we don't. have any real claims that I want to survive for. Ooh, so this isn't even Pradehara anymore. Whoa! You all by yourself? You are all by yourself. Rehihili. Now you are part of this this guy here, Maharaja Pradehara, so but you're you're by yourself, huh? Really? Really. He is in a war right now. Well, he's about to be in another war. What's gonna happen? Okay, let's have them stand out. Boom. Send you here. What about now? Could make him a trib. We don't have a. I wonder if we could make a title. I wonder if there's any titles that we could make here that would give us a claim on that. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay then. Well, I guess we just kind of sit sit tight. I don't want to. I, I have no interest in making a tributary. The monetary. You know, value of that's really low. Plus, it would just weaken him down so somebody else could snatch him up. Okay, so my nephew uh, became a gray eminence. Alright, well, he's okay, but it's good to have another gray eminence around. Let's have you guys head back over here. We really need to uh, give some time to get some money back. After years of careful planning, Danajamadava Kaivorta has raised a large army of exiles, mercenaries, and hopefuls. What do you got a claim on? Ooh, so he's gonna go after Paula. Good luck with that. So he's going after this, huh? Yeah. Yep. Grandson Karnadeva is charitable. Cool. He's already charitable. I guess you can double up on those events. That's pretty cool. You can just like stack a ton of uh, ton of stats. What about this? Anybody join in on this yet? Nah. Too well liked. Ooh. 
So, how are we looking? Money or uh, yeah, we have a lot of uh, a lot of troop count now. It was a huge bear somewhere near the caves in Damapur. A courtier of mine had insisted to come along when my men and I went hunting for the bear. En enough with the nagging. All right, uh, so I think we're kind of in a situation. We're gonna chill out because there's a lot going on right now, and we need gold anyways. So we're gonna just sit back, cause oh my goodness, look at all, look at this mess. We really kind of caused a mess whenever we assassinated this guy because it really <laughs> kind of uh, turned this area on its head a little bit. So yeah, everybody likes this guy. They like him because he's got a lot of good traits. He he is envious, but he has good traits. He's you know he's He's a good leader. He's got good stats. So, yeah. But when he dies, this guy's going to take over, and he's not quite so good. I mean, he's okay. He's just craven, though. Which is good, because that means he's going to have less troops. All right, guys. Thank you so, so much for uh, joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, game on.